this is very possibly the last time you'll be seeing of this vlog appearance style guitars thing. Hey ya peeps, my name is Leon. Welcome to the vlog. Wow, that sounds really short now for a change. I've been talking about for a long time building a table, a proper working table for my computers and my camera equipment stuffs on the wall behind and things like that. So the time has come, potentially. I just got the wood in like an hour ago. Like I've been talking about this for a long, long time. I think the first design I made was back in summer and then I got a couple of advices from my carpenter friends and they gave me a couple of suggestions so I applied those but it's still been sitting around there for months and now at this time of year where generally work is pretty slow, it's the official off season for most photographers, um, I decided to just go out and order the wood and buy all the things I need and it is here and it's time to put it together and see um, what we can do with it. So we have here all the pieces, that, that big thing behind, that's the table, it's over, it's like two and a half meters long. Then we have the legs and the shelves in between and the backboards. That over there is the drawer pieces. We're gonna have two drawers for starters and then eventually make more. And those little pieces and these long boards which you can't see behind the curtain, that's the shelf that's gonna be on the wall behind. The room is a disaster which is to be expected so you can free up the space to work on it. I did make a mistake on these four pieces of wood. They were supposed to be edged on the narrow side, but I specified for them to be edged on the wide side. Luckily, they either made a mistake or they didn't care and they did edge three of them on the narrow side. So one of them isn't etched properly on either side. So it's just gonna look ugly like this for a while until I take it back or just buy a little track like this and stitch it up. I do, I did kind of do the basics with someone else. So I kind of know what I'm doing, but like a complete amateur, but it's good practice for building the band eventually, right? Here we also got a pack of 250 screws, stickers to go on those screws and the drill bit and the screwdriver bit, which I did not have before. I'm gonna start out with building like the two boxes, which is the main table is kind of held up on that makes the most sense. And then I'll just prop up the big board on top of them and drill it down. Okay, so that's one and two boxes done right now. And all I have to do, according to my plan over here, is to connect the two boxes with the plank in the back, which also works as a support for the main board. So you got one here for the back, one for the back of the cupboard. Connect these two boxes, that's the next step. So I generally put stickers on all the parts, all the screws on the parts of the covers that are generally gonna be in sight when you get around the room. But all these screws, which will be invisible later, they don't need a sticker. Also, I was a bit too close to the edge here, but yeah. Well, we're getting closer to the stage of completion. Um, I wish there was someone to film all the bureau shots of like doing all this stuff. It would be really cool. So I kind of had like a full vlogging idea with bureau and everything, but it just went by so fast. I did this all in like, uh, four or five hours or so. I thought it was gonna be like vlogging and talking about it here or there, but it was really like straight to the point and it was kind of relaxing, not thinking about anything, just, you know, mechanical. <laughs> and turned out really good. Just have to pull off all the stickers. Some places still need stickers to hide the screw holes. And it's actually a really pleasing part because you immediately see the difference. You see, no screw holes. Satisfaction, it's best. On the other hand, I didn't want this to be like a carpentry tutorial thing where I teach you how to cut wood and do make screw holes. So maybe this was for the best. Somehow I feel like it's coming towards the end of the vlog because I usually film in one day. But this is a project that's gonna last at least a couple of days. So who knows, maybe we'll still be able to catch up on some fun stuff then. Like I can time lapse me putting everything up on the shelves even though all the LED strips and lights that I'm planning aren't gonna come here right away because I don't have them yet, so. So now I've got this LED strip 
and I will staple gun it to the back of all these cupboards to give it a nice glow. I was thinking for a while which color of these lights to get, but in the end I chose an RGB version that I can switch, even though the downside is I can't get like pure white, because white is a combination of all the colors. From far away it may look white, from close up it just looks like a Christmas tree. Here's yellow. Yellow is a combination of green and red. Great. So, yeah, but it works. Well, peeps, we have done it. We have built the desk. I'm glad you were here and part of the steps. I know it wasn't step by step type of thing, but I can do now. I mean, is just, you know, clean up the mess and populate the shelves and maybe make a time lapse, but I think we need a wider lens for this, so. Well, that should do it, I guess. I haven't introduced this lens into the vlog, this new addition to our lens family, but that is coming in an upcoming vlog. Right now, cleanup time. That is the setup right there. The desk that I'll be using in 2020 that will potentially um, facilitate a lot of projects, generate new ideas, and just bring out the creativity inside me. Obviously, there's gonna be things still updating. Maybe put some lights there to highlight different parts of what's on the shelves, you know, the usual photographer stuff. Figure out what to do with this. Maybe get a bigger softbox. Right now, it's just a ball, a paper ball and a light, pretty much. Works fine, it needs to be a little bit bigger. It's kind of harsh um, by the looks of it. So, like I said, these are RGB lights. They were not the pure white ones, which would look cool, but then I couldn't get the option of changing it. And like this, if I want to set the mood, I can set the mood with the lights, or if I want to change it around or make my vlogs different, or talk about something dramatic. Or talk about something dramatic. Red is not as bright as some of the other colors, so it needs special attention. That was really menacing, huh? And then you turn on blue on and it just like kills your eyes. That's also gonna be fun to play around with. Good start to the year, good project. I haven't done something like this before, it was awesome. Obviously, I need to showcase it to you the way a YouTuber would. Well, so much for that video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. And as usual, click the thumbs up and subscribe by another good stuff. And I'm going to see you guys next week. I'm starting to hate myself. Time to turn up the music.